Hello guys, this is Julian. Today in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about something called Cloud Ready, which is basically an operating system based off Chrome OS, which is really cool and awesome and very good for lightweight. It's a good lightweight operating system, which is good for older computers that can't run Windows very well. So, basically, I'm going to show you guys like what it is. I'm going to install it on an old computer. I actually tried Chromium OS like a couple days ago and that completely failed. So I probably won't be uploading that. This is much better and easier to install. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you're going to download it, which this is the download page. I'll put this in the description. And I downloaded 32-bit because the computer I'm putting it on is a computer from the Windows XP days. So I don't think it would handle 64-bit very well. Besides, 32-bit would probably run faster. So 64 would be for newer machines. Basically makes it into a Chromebook. So here's the instructions for how to install this. So this Cloud Ready file, once you install it, or I mean download it, you're going to extract it which I haven't done any of this yet because, yeah, so it's extracting, or to be extracting this file. But while it's extracting, let's go back and you will extract the file. You'll install and launch the Chromebook recovery utility, which you'll need to add this to Chrome. So go to your Chrome, add this to your Chrome because you need it. Yes, we want to add that. I'd love to add that app. And I think it's adding to Chrome now. And then I have to figure out how to launch it. So, there we go. Here it is. Okay. So, we can get out of this now. Because now we have it. And this will say to create recovery media for Chromebooks. And it'll tell us what to do from here. Is You'll go to it. You'll launch it click the get started button but but then locate this on the top of the window and push use local storage locate the cloud that you've been follow the instructions when prompted enter USB when it's completed remove the flash drive it's now ready to use You have to, yeah, use a local image and locate it. So where is my flash drive? I'm just gonna plug my flash drive in now. Okay, so I have an eight gig flash drive. Let's see if this is extracted yet. Mm, yep, it is. Okay, so you're going to go here and you're gonna put use local image. You're gonna go to your cloud ready. There we go. Um, there it is. Continue. Create now. Click yes on the prompt if you get one. And now it is putting the image on the USB. So after this, we'll have to plug this into the system we want to install it on. And then I guess go through the next steps to be able to actually install this. This is going to take 10 minutes. We'll go scroll all the way down and go to next step is to install Cloud Ready. And I'll put the links to the install guide in the description. Permanently install it. Each computer needs to start at boot from the USB you created, which is called USB booting. I already know that. So it tells you, I guess, the keys on different machines. I'm not sure if mine booted up early. I think it was F12. So. Let's see, because F12 is usually the most common. So to begin the process, you click on the clock on the bottom right corner, click on install cloud ready, and then I guess you just go through the installation like normal. Because I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Because I'm, because I, and I'm going to do it, but this tells you some extra tips on like unstable like installing Adobe Flash and optional stuff that you can do once you install it. So I will be showing you guys those things. So we have to wait for this to create the recovery image, which is going to take some time. 
So I'm going to come back once this is created and we're going to um, use this on another computer I have and hopefully this will bring it back to life as, you know, Windows runs on it kind of laggy. Um, the Windows 10 Extreme Lite ran super well on it, but the internet wasn't working properly, so I couldn't use it. And it also didn't have Wi-Fi support and Ethernet, just kept saying no internet access. And I tried everything, and it just wouldn't work. I think it was something to do with that computer, because I've gotten it to work before. So, I'm, I'm going to stop this video for now, pause it, and come back when this is done. So it says it created the recovery media. It just finished a couple minutes ago. So we can hit done. It actually says it needs to be formatted, but that's just because Windows sees it weird. Which, how did I run out of storage? I don't even know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But um, anyways, probably when it made this, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to stop this video and start recording on my phone and put this in the computer. Okay guys, I'm back with this Acer again, and I'm going to put that in there. I think it's F12. I think, I'm not entirely sure right now. But yeah, F12 to change boot order. It is F12. Okay, so we're going to boot to this. And we're gonna see what it does. So. This is the computer. There it is, cloud ready. And I think this is easier to install. The other one wouldn't install. It kept like asking for a password, the Chromium OS, and it was very unstable. And it was more complicated. You had to do commands, in which the commands that didn't work. So yeah. Okay. Loading. There we go, looks nice, actually. I feel like it would make this computer run well. Sorry, I got a phone call in the middle of the video which stopped it, but I got here and we're going to go here. Install Cloud Ready. Install Cloud Ready. Have existing, you can install it after you're able to choose option. If you fully want to convert it, you can install it standalone. But standalone because I want to wipe it. At all. So you could actually dual boot, but I'm not going to. That'd be nice, so I might try this on my computer sometime, but oh yeah, my hard drive's too small though. But, this is nice. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to install. But I want, I'm gonna install this on other computers. So, I'll come back and let you know how long this took. So just a minute ago, it shut off. I'm guessing it finished. Let me remove the USB. Power it back up. I think it said it would shut down. So I think that was actually normal. So yeah, it looks like it's booting up. Yep, it's installed nothing plugged in, but this is a nice little computer to, you know, use. It would probably work faster. The mouse was working really good on here, too. So you got a mouse, it's nice and fast, I like that. I like a nice quick mouse. Okay, what's it doing? Let's see what it's doing. It boots up a little slow, but I assume it's gonna be quick and fast once it's on. 
Hopefully everything works properly. Because that would be a fail. Well, there we go. He's gonna connect to a network. Okay, let me set this down. Okay, we're on a network. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to log in, but I'm gonna have to do that off camera. But let's see. Yeah, we have to sign in, so I'll be back. Okay guys, I signed in. So let's see what it's gonna do now. It's running really quick actually, it's working. The internet's working good too. Before the internet on Chromium OS kept dropping and I had to put it close to the router. Okay, so we're on a desktop. Guessing I'll just go to Chrome now. Er, yeah, let's go to like Google. And it looks like it's working. It's going pretty quick. It looks a lot like a Chromebook. All oh, apps. Whoa, my mouse just got huge. Alrighty then. I don't get it. Oh, I think it's trying to load everything. I'm not sure. All I know is I'm gonna have to fix that. That is way too large. That is humongous. It's a little laggy now. I'm just going to get out of that. So guys, this is the nice lightweight OS. Except it like locked up. Well, there it goes. I think it's trying to load all my stuff back. I don't want Hangouts loading right now. Oh yeah, it has my wallpaper that I put on in here because I had a Chromebook that I was borrowing and I had to give it back so I reset it, but it looks like all the settings are still there because I'm pretty sure the mouse was huge on that too. Except it wasn't this huge. I don't think it was this huge. Let's see if YouTube loads. Looks like everything's loading. It's a little slow, but this computer is really old. So I would expect it to be a little sluggish, but it's working. And it's a nice OS to put on lightweight computers. It's just that this computer I see is still trying to get all the settings back. And YouTube, I don't know how well it would run on this to be honest, but it works. It's not scrolling though. Maybe the scroll thing with two hands. So yeah, this works. You can scroll with two fingers, which is fast. So that's awesome. This is a nice thing to put on older systems. It makes it just like a Chromebook. And if you wanted to like see how Chrome OS worked and you're just wondering how it ran on computers, just go ahead and give this a try. Um, yeah, what's it called again? Um, Cloud Ready, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, you guys can check out Cloud Ready. It runs pretty fast. It works. Looks like it's loaded much faster now. Things are getting snappier once it, um, gets all the settings. But YouTube is gonna make it lag, probably, because that's just how YouTube is. But for light web browsing, I would say this is nice to put on older computers. So I'm gonna give Chrome OS a try. It's not exactly Chrome OS, but it basically is. It got all the settings that I had on an actual Chromebook.
So that's pretty cool. So guys, I'm just gonna say thanks for watching. I put it on this one for now, this old computer. The specs are really old. I took off Windows off of here. Maybe later when Windows 10 Extreme Light with Wi-Fi support comes out, I'll test that. But they're waiting for the creator's update to be official. So, yeah. So anyways, this is just really cool. I'll be having fun with this. It, it, it looks just like a Chromebook. I'll probably install this on a couple other computers I have that are slow. See how they run with this, because it's awesome. Okay guys, thanks for watching, that's it. I'm gonna stop the video, let me know if you guys try this out, let me know how it runs in your computers. And hope you enjoyed watching this, and bye-bye for now.